In the same way most people are unaware of how ecological niches are arrayed on Earth, even fewer realize that the world map we take for granted is not actually true to how it is constructed. This is the standard world map everyone studies and learns in geography classes around the world. It was designed by a Flemish cartographer, Gerhardus Mercator, around 1600, commissioned by men in Europe when Europe was considered the center of the world. In order to create a two-dimensional map from a three-dimensional globe, there must be a certain amount of distortion. In Mercator's case, he abused that license to distort for the benefit of his European employers. He produced a map with a decidedly European centrist viewpoint and with strongly racist overtones. Europe was shown at its center, which no one would have objected to in 1600. Yet the generations who have unknowingly used it since then still have no idea of what went into turning small Europe well north of the equator into large and imposing Europe seemingly at the center of the world. The 18.9 million square miles inhabited by Mercator's northern hemisphere compatriots are shown on his map as much larger than the 38.6 million square miles south of the equator, which are primarily inhabited by black and brown populations. Europe's 3.8 million square miles are shown as larger than South America's 6.9 million square miles. In reality, China is over four times the size of Greenland, but Mercator's map shows China as substantially smaller. Scandinavia, with only 0.4 million square miles, is shown here dwarfing India's 1.3 million square miles, which is three times larger. Alaska's diminutive 0.6 million square miles are drawn much larger than Mexico's 0.7 million square miles. Perhaps the most egregious distortion is found when comparing the inflated 8.6 million square miles of the old Soviet Union to the greatly diminished 11.6 million square miles of Africa. I grew up learning from this map, believing in the accuracy of this map. This is the same map still used today in programs like Google Maps, something millions of people rely on every single day. We are all completely convinced that it accurately represents what our world actually looks like. We know it represents the truth to us, even though it never has. So now, it seems, is a good time to stop arrogantly assuming what we know is always and forever correct and to instead start thinking for ourselves.